Hi everybody and welcome to Mail Art Monday. I'm just going to quickly show you my supplies here. I've got some old stamps and then this pile of paper bits that I had just pulled out of my desk um, that I thought would work well. I actually put a little bit of thought into what I wanted to do. I wanted to have like a spring florally vintagey travel-y kind of feel. So um, yeah, I did pull this from my stash. So I'm just showing you the envelopes I'm using. I want to make a card. I've got these two envelopes um, that are cream and craft and that really pretty teeny tiny blue one. And I want to go from super, super simple and basic to a little more work. So I'm starting with a super, super simple and basic envelope. I'm just adding two things. <laughs> In the end, I do add a couple more things at the very end, but I wanted to show you that it really doesn't take much to add um, two or three small things to an envelope to make it look pretty because you are going to be adding um, postage stamps to that as well. So I always try to be mindful of that. And here I am just cutting the, um, I, I go to this one antique shop and they use these really cool bags and I collect them obviously because look how cool they are. Um, but I've got like 10 now <laughs> and they're in two different sizes. And uh, I just pulled this one out and I wanted to cut it apart and try to use it. And it's just got these like old timey newspaper advertisements. And this particular one was advertising lace and um, like lady things like fancy glass and I don't know. So I just thought maybe this would be a, a good envelope to make kind of pretty. And I actually do struggle a little bit with this one. Um, with the placement of everything. I knew what I wanted to use. I just couldn't get it to work. So I hum and haw over it forever. And as usual, I don't pre-plan these out. You see me struggle <laughs> through the whole thing. So um, in the end, I felt like this piece was too big. And um, I end up moving it all around to try to get it to work. And I'm I didn't want to cover too much of the girl because I wanted the girl and the lady advertisements to kind of speak to each other. I wanted it to be very clear, like what I was trying to do. I was trying to go with a lady theme. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at. <clears throat> Unfortunately, the lady's head has been cut off, so I have to kind of figure out how to work with that in a way that makes sense. Um, so yeah, <laughs> in the end, I think it looks really, really good. I do struggle with this one the most though. This one takes quite a lot of time to figure out. So I think I'm going to use this sticker to cover up her missing head. And um, in the end, it doesn't work out, you'll see. But um, while I'm struggling desperately through this envelope, I wanted to kind of um, thank everybody for all of the questions and comments and just the interaction that I've been getting recently. It has been so amazing. I've gotten so many really great questions about my process and um, how I do things and why I do things. And I think it's really, really special to be able to share that kind of stuff with you guys. So I really do appreciate that kind of interaction and please keep it coming. If you have a question and you're curious, I'm an open book. I have no problems sharing anything. Um, if you have a question about the supplies that I'm using, nothing in this video I can link except for the planner glue pen, which I um, have linked in some of my previous videos. But yeah, nothing in here I can link. I can't link the stickers. I cannot link this washi. I can't link anything. So please, um, I apologize. <laughs> Everything is vintage. Everything is old. Um, those stickers are even like four or five years old. So yeah, and they were like a limited release at Target. <laughs> so I apologize for that. I know a lot of people really want to be able to get their hands on the supplies that I use. But unfortunately, most of what I use is just vintage that I get at antique stores. So um, this particular piece of paper right here is a sunny Sunday piece of paper from one of their notepads. I will try to find it. I don't know if they are being sold anymore because it's from one of their first um, lines. Um, I'll try to. <laughs> so, but the brand is Sunny Sunday. Everything else is old. <laughs> so, sorry. 
um, yeah. Anyway, I'm moving on to this other envelope. I'm just layering um, these uh, different colored bits to kind of, I don't know what I was going for. It kind of looks silly now. It looks good in the end, but now it looks like I've just created an upside down staircase <laughs> with paper. Um, I want to use that advertisement there because I don't want to waste it and I don't want to lose it. So I just stick it down. It's actually kind of awful what the advertisement is for. It's for a steady woman, uh, not like a partner, but just like a woman to take care of a man in his home, like cook and clean and stuff. Um, I, I guess I, I, it was kind of awful, but <laughs> I put it on anyway. I hope they don't read too much into it, the recipient. So this one is going to be my favorite one of the day. The supplies just really, really worked well for the size of this envelope and the colors and the simplicity of everything just worked really, really well. And it ends up being my favorite envelope. This is the one I make the card for as well. Um, so here I have the idea, I'm struggling with this floral piece and it's like too big. So I'm just going to fussy cut one of them out. They're not connected. So I can easily just cut one of them out. It won't mess the image up. And I was like, Hmm, I was having like an aha moment. Like Skylar, you genius. <laughs> Instead of struggling with this piece of paper, you made it work for you. So I thought that was kind of funny. Here I've just ripped up a tiny dictionary sheet and I'm going to slide it in behind this. Look, the good thing about these glue pins is that the glue doesn't dry right away. So you have a little bit of time to play with the, the placement of everything, which is really, really nice. So yeah, I'm going to move on to the card. Now, the reason I pulled these out is because I really enjoy making cards with vintage postage stamps on them. Um... I, I like the cleanness of it. You'll see what I mean in a minute, but this is a postage stamp holder that I made for myself. I had an old traveler's notebook, used some tracing paper and cut in them into strips and then just used double-sided tape and created these little holders that I could put these vintage postage stamps in. And it's really, really fun. So here I'm just pulling out three that I think would match the envelope a little, a little a, pretty well. Um, and in the end, I go with this one. The airmail doesn't match at all, but I love airmail anything, so <laughs> that's why I pulled that out. I'm going to use this dictionary paper to kind of hold that stamp down. Most of the time, I don't. Most of the time, I just put the stamp down, and it's just this simple, clean card, and it doesn't, um, it doesn't have to be intricate, but for the sake of the video, I wanted to put a little more pizzazz into it and so I, I just put the dictionary sheet behind it and give the stamp a little something to rest on and then I add one of these pretty floral stickers to the side and I think that looks good and now I have a blank card that I can write to somebody in so yeah those two are finished I'm really happy with those I'm gonna come back to these other two just because it felt like something was missing, I'm going to add another floral to this one. And then I, I think I'm going to add something to my cream one as well. Maybe I don't. I think maybe I leave that one alone. Oh, no, I do. I add one of the... I'm kind of deciding if I like that flower because the pink is very bright on the right, but I add it anyway. And then the blue one, I'm going to add uh, a little more something to it, and then I'm going to call it good. So I just want to take this opportunity to thank you guys for hanging out with me. I really enjoy doing these videos, and I hope you guys are enjoying them as well. If you have any requests, leave them down below. If you have any questions, always leave them down below. I'm just adding this little piece of dictionary paper here to the bottom of it. Um, I did like the simplicity of it before, but I felt like maybe I could add a little something to that and it would still look good. So I do add another piece of washi to it as well right here. And that is going to be it. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I said this already, <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to show you close ups and then that's going to be it. I hope you guys are having a great Monday. I hope you have fun plans for the springtime and that these envelopes inspire you to get ready for spring mail. And I think I'm going to leave it here. I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'll catch you guys later. Thanks. Bye.